I have no clue what's happening anymore. They're, they're, they're just throwing random shit and just throwing at you. They're like, Gregorian monks, three, 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 you magic fucking science cult, but cram school, vampires, Mikosama, alchemist, knights, Roman knights, dead heads, tails, you can't use head side, but head side can show up to the tail side, girl gets cut up, orb shows up on a thing, Toma gets used as bait, we forget memories, but we don't forget memories, the alchemist sends us that alchemist takes index, I don't know. I feel like it's unfair as an anime only to understand the story, to be expected. I kind of have an idea, but in order to truly understand, I need to go read the fucking wiki, bro. I need to go read the light novel. This, 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 the, you thought Fate Zero was bad in terms of just throwing out random buzzwords and keywords, reality marble this, you know, fucking noble phantasm, like, no, 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 no. Index is, this show is literally just grabbing just random shit and just, just tossing it out to you like it's supposed to fucking make sense, but none of it makes sense. Let's begin today's reaction. Of course she's here. This dummy got kidnapped again. Deep blood. Vampire killer. Here we go. Seems like he can just do whatever he wants in this building, yeah. He says horrors and it just happens. Does he want Index's Grimoires? Hiding for three years. Is there? What did you just say? Faith and techniques of the world. If there are unrectified injustices, why would one hesitate to depart from the reasons of man? I see no reasoning here. You're, you're not making any fuck. This is so abstract to me. Are you talking about an index right now? Why would one hesitate to depart from the reasons of man? Are you, are you justifying what you're doing right now? You're saying a lot of words, but that's about it. I think she's talking about index. This guy only speaks in riddles. Deep blood. You must call out the vampires. And then what? Like, Miko has some sort of objective. Her deep blood attracts vampires. We need to summon a bunch of vampires. And then he promised not to kill vampires. Vampires are normal people, just like you and me. But I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Yo, hey, we found him so quick. Can't they just do this and kick us out again? Okay. Save her index? He wants to save index. What? Take her and do what? The grimoires? Oh, he's pre-ordering, man. I don't think he watched episode 6. The, he wants to save Index from her pain and suffering. I'm not sure if he's specifically talking about the memory stuff, which probably is. We've already cleared it. And now if we tell him that, hey, yeah, yeah, Index is clear from that spell. He doesn't need this fake memory reduction, uh, uh, erasure every year. Is she good? Index yeah, he, he's another person that used to know Index, I guess. Yes. Just another person that got cucked by Toma then. Yeah, who, wait, 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 who is? Yeah. And then three years ago. Yeah, we know. Bro doesn't know. And his research has been to basically solve that problem. I see. He wanted to use a vampire as a vessel for Index to escape this fate. But... <laughs> We're good, bro. We're good. Alright. Let's tell him that I try my best. When you say remove the index from her body, you're talking about the grimoires? Yes, that's what I'm 
Here's the self-justice yapping. Yeah, she, she is saved, bro. What did you just say? It will not change the fact that the index will have been saved. It's funny you say this because she has already been saved. So we erase the memories. He's actually a decent person. Hey, he mentions it too. Memories in her heart. Now we were joking around when the doctor said, how the fuck are you going to get your memories back? Your brain cell gone, dummy. <laughs> Kokoro, baby. Memories of the heart. Ah, more memories of the heart hinting. Bro, she got a new man. So leave her alone. There is a very easy way to make him change his thinking. Let him know the problem is solved. Why the fuck are we still fucking around? Just tell him. Then he'll be like, oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Here we go. That's right, sixth episode. Damn. He turned his back on the church? Roman Orthodox Church. It's a different church from the English Puritan Church, but he turned the back on the church. Three years hiding in the underground. That is so sad. There was no reason to turn his back on the church now. And then he's wasted three years of his life thinking that he's gonna like save Index. And she already got saved. And now he's like, well shit. Did I waste all that time? Well, what about the research? Did you figure something out in those three years? Yeah, and now the Roman knights, because they turned his back, I, I guess those knights were here to get his ass. Now, I I'm honestly pretty indifferent about the knights. I don't really care, but it kind of makes more sense. Esper. Imagine break. That's right. <laughs> Wait, he, he slid that insult in there. In other words, he possesses an ability beyond his merits. He ain't wrong. State is like, this kid got a bullshit power. He doesn't deserve this. He does not deserve this. Shit. I fucking hate this kid. But yeah, he got it. That's right, with another man, though. Sh shouldn't she be happy, bro? Shouldn't she be happy for Index? Nah. It's- everyone's getting cooked. Everyone's getting cooked, and he wasted three years of his life chasing after something that never should have been chased. Bro, this is sad for Izzard, right? I really feel sad for him, actually. Oh, you're still here! What's going on, Hime? Index! <laughs> she says his name. She doesn't say Izzard, she says Toma. She hungry. He's such a glutton. Here is some pudding. Very cute. But what about Izzard though? No, 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 no. These laughs are not good. We, we might be chuckling here. These are the laughs of a mind broken man. This is not a good laugh. Uh oh. <laughs> you good? Are you good? Ah, shit. Ow! Wonder why he has to stab himself for the power. Do you? How could you? The real you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Couple things to break down there! He bit his own thumb. And it like canceled out the stay on the floor. I don't know exactly how that works, but he was able to do that. Then, die command, because whatever he says just becomes law in this building. <laughs> how does that work? How do you bite your right thumb? And the imagine break happens. Something about that... It was, it's more about the contact with the mouth. Meaning his magic, the alchemist's magic is on your mouth? I, I... <laughs> Even like this and the gravity shit just stop. I, I... 
what 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 touch yeah it touched his body and his body was like basically putting down so like the the magic on his body just got lifted up i i guess that makes sense uh she's dead now can we cancel this maybe we can vampires deep blood should be called sweet blood man mom's a vampire too I'm not sure if that was mom, but they all die. If they drink her blood, they die? Is that the implication here? Deep blood, vampire killer. They're all attracted by her blood, but she the potential to kill vampires too. That's very sad, right? Because you're a vampire magnet. Man, I wish I had this shit for mosquitoes, bro. Fuck mosquitoes. Why can't I have deep blood from a skew? They suck on my blood? Good, die! That's on you, fuck you! So that intro scene that we saw in the beginning of this arc, it was all people just like drinking her blood and dying. It wasn't, it wasn't her doing anything bad, it's just her existing. This is sad. <laughs> This poor girl got manipulated by this fucking cuck who was like, yep, yep, yeah, just summon the vampires for me. Okay, I'm gonna yoink one, then I'm gonna use it as a vessel and put index in there. You got manipulated, gaslit. He did. He still does, but she's saved. Now, can, I, I don't know if she's already dead, but like... Well, it's his domain. Can he just say live? I'm thinking like, you know, maybe we can like cancel the magic property that's going to make her de dead before she dies. But if that's not possible, maybe Izzer can just live. Arise. She, she just comes back. <laughs> you asshole. Bro, this girl wasted so much time too. There was no need for her to be here. You fucking idiot, like what? <laughs> the whole project is a sham. There's no need to kill her. Like this poor girl got dragged out here for one object. Oh my God. She's, she's suffering. Bruh. <laughs> Evil laugh. Oh, she back. So Artist Magna is not just like this ability to rewind time, but basically if you're in this building, your words can do everything. Die. I still Ars Magna and we have canceled Ars Magna. <laughs> Easy, baby. <laughs> Imagine break, baby. Should we, you know, prove his doubts wrong? What, what was I saying? The, uh, prove your disbeliefs or something like put your like um doubts to shame what, what's that what's that line he said in the beginning here because i see a lot of people like commenting the same shit whenever index was getting marketed to you guys right he was talking to state and something about like um disproving the yeah, destroy the illusion break the illusion something like that right oh he mad Let's go! That's cigarette. Bro, stop smoking. That's all you can do, though. Yo, go free state it. Have him help you. Have him literally fucking help you. What is he doing on the ground? And okay, unfortunate at the end here. I'll break your illusions. You see, why did he say I'll break your illusions before, but not here? That's interesting. Like, they literally, in the intro scene, they said it, but in the scene that actually mattered, they didn't do it. It is what it is. <sighs> you got smitten. You're talking about free state it. Have him help you. It's that thing again! <laughs> Touch yourself! Touch yourself! <laughs> there it is. Touch yourself! <laughs> or do that. Wait, wait, we can't do hand that. We can, because it's magic based. I thought that like a uh, blunt object or like, 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 you know, 
like a Kanzaki sword. It wasn't able to be cut. But, 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 but this is different. This is like Ars Magna still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a bullshit power. Uh -huh. What? What are you gonna do? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Come on, subs, come on, show up! Yep. Can't touch. An attack that they can't touch. How, how do you do that? Remove the oxygen around Toma only and put him in a vacuum? Could he not? Destroy the bounce? I don't know, let's see. One second, guys. Technical difficulty. Alright, we're back. Here we go. That's kind of funny how he can, like, describe in such details of, like, the new thing he's gonna imagine, huh? Like, faster than the eyes can see, but he got shit aim. I think he's capping, coping for his fucking- Whoa! Yo, you good? The bulls didn't do shit though. Maybe it was intentional. He just wants him to feel the pain. I don't know if he's coping or not. He's like, ha 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 ha, I missed on purpose. I don't want to let you die so easily. But he's like, at the, at, is there some kind of limitation to his part? There isn't, right? There, there isn't, right? He, he, he is just playing with his food right now. Oh shit, more pistols! Mm -hmm. Vampires. Vessel. State is onto something. Something about the genuine article, bro. He could just make a vampire. And then he could just have that be some, but it couldn't be the real thing. There's a limitation to his powers than when he creates. <laughs> or he's just fucking stupid. <laughs> or, or, Izzard is literally just fucking stupid and he never thought about it. He's like, oh shit. I, I could have done that all this time. No, I, I don't think we're going that direction. I do not think we're going that direction. But if it did, that'd be hilarious. Oh no, Stata! Shit! Shit, Jesus Christ! Yo, I thought he's gonna strip his fucking clothing. Dude, the skin is off. Oh! Oh! Nasty! No puke though. He didn't let that shit out. Vessel for Index. And Index still making such a cute face. That too! Exactly! There's limitations to his powers! What? Yeah, yeah. Imagination powers, fuck it. It's a gun on a blade. Is Toma onto something? That he didn't think he could do it? Like, his, this power is limited on, like, your faith and belief? And he doesn't believe that he could have saved him. Like, he doesn't believe that he could have genuinely just, like, created a vampire. Therefore, it's... It's not working. <laughs> Goofy ass fucking gun. It just like fucking just detract, bro. It just fucking pop. Uh oh, that's a lot of blood, though. Yo, our arm is disarmed. Oh. <laughs> Thomas no. laughing. Yo, Thomas laughed though? It's like an evil. What the? It's looking like Thomas the final boss now. No arm. He literally has no right arm. He figured something out. He's panicking. Is this this ultra instinct? How the fuck is he dodging everything? Or does this have to do with the faith, the belief? 
Tomo seems to understand everything. Even if his arm's cut off, he knows that this is potentially bullshit? And he's approaching him and he's panicking? Holy! Nah, it doesn't matter! He didn't even use his right hand! Just cause my right arm is gone. Well shit, if your Imagine Breaker hinges on you having a right arm and you don't have a right arm, it would make sense that it wouldn't fucking work, but somehow, over here, right? They all just disappeared. They just disappeared. <laughs> this is Samano's Holy Ghost shit, bro. Just because I don't have my right arm, did you think that I couldn't use my right arm? He's panicking! Mom's spaghetti! He fumbling! Oh! I thought there was some like blood sacrifice used to like use the alchemy or something with the needles. It gets him high. It gets him locked in. It, 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 then he like believes, then he can like focus on the powers to work. If he doesn't have that, it doesn't work. <gasps> It's all fake! <laughs> also, what's happening to Stale right now? Is he still up in the air all skinned out? Is he literally just still hovering, just like hunched over? What's, what's going on with Stale, bro? Break his illusion, Toma! What a fraudulent skill. The more you believe it's fake, Stater already got okay. The more you don't believe in Ars Magna, like it's all about belief, the faith, right? If that's not there, you start doubting your own powers, bro, Stater is already good. Break that illusion. <laughs> You don't even believe it. Toma looks so sick, man. Yeah. Woo! Yo! We're believing that we have the right hammer of a fucking dragon. Making piss his pants. And we beat him. Alright, we're good. You got off screens. What are you fucking talking about? What do you, what do you fucking mean? Did he just check the nurse's ass out there? I think he did. I know that he's talking about Toma potentially be flirting with nurses. That's why he cut his own arm off to show up here. But I think he's checking out the fucking nurse's ass right now, man. He's definitely in it for the nurses. <laughs> We're not birds of a feather, huh? We're not toads. We're not frogs of the same well, Doc. No, you, you freaky ass. Oi. I think he did. Hmm. Oh, Stater. <laughs> Thanks, Stater. What the fuck? They even cut apples for us? Aw. This is usually what a girl should be doing for a guy whenever the guy's hospitalized. Also, I wonder if forbidden apothecary applies in this show. I don't know. We should probably not eat that apple, bro. Yeah, what was that? What was that dragon? So, like, he himself felt that, right? Because it's, you know, his, his powers is all about the imaginations. Toma instilled such a fear into Izzard that he like imagined pretty much like a dragon, right? Memories are gone? Magic's gone? <laughs> Izzard has just become a monkey now? It's conveniently his memories, his magic's all gone. We can no longer have the reality bending fucking magic for convenience sakes. And now he's off to the wilderness as a monkey. Okay. The Roman knights from the Roman church. What was the whole point of that the cram school, by the way? I don't understand that part. What the fuck was the point of the cram school cult? Like, like his original goal was... Index 
Save index, vampire vessel, get Miko-sama to do it. To attract the map. Okay. But like, why cram school cult? Was he just a landlord there? Was, was he basically just like landlord at the building and he just rented it off to just a random cram school? I, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, how, why was that even necessary? Yeah, the students did get used for the Gregorian chant for sure, but like, we used that one fucking time for fucking what though? For what? It, well, I, 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 it, the, the one time we needed to chase after Tova? What does the Gregorian chant gonna fucking do? I. Oh, because like Ars Magna relies on the Gregorian chant? Does it? I thought that he basically just needed to like believe in himself and he could do it. But if he requires the chant, the 3333, then that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Tomo was so badass today, man. Was he actually hurting like hell? That was the coolest I've ever seen Tomo, man. Like, he was so sick. Arm cut off, couldn't see his face. The just menacing aura that he was imposing, just walking up. Did you just peel the apples for yourself? What the f- All right, now let's do uh, Forbidden Napa Theory. He ate his own apples. That means something really bad is gonna happen to Stade, bro. Vampires definitely do exist. What about Alistair, though? Didn't uh, the director Alistair tell Stade that uh, we found a girl that can kill potentially a creature that may or may not exist yet? Or maybe it was just an investigation just to... Um, Figure out, like, just confirm the existence of Deep Blood, and his goal wasn't just, like, kill all the vampires. Yeah. And there's gonna be... So, it's like, every fucking opponent in the future gonna be, like, ex-partners. Like, everybody that we meet that's gonna be an antagonist, maybe not everybody, but a lot of them is gonna be, like, five years ago, six years ago, seven years ago. Well, there's a limit to that, because Index is pretty young. Aw, hey, Index. <laughs> Bro jumped out the fucking window. <laughs> Ultimate wingman? He didn't want to get cucked. He refused to get cucked. He refuses to do third wheeling. He literally jumped out the window. I'm Batman! So, it was more for you. You got your ass kid. No! She's right over there. Index! No! Index! Don't eat the apples! I'm not a vibe. We got two lollies now. Join the harem. It's not like we wanted to shift to the hospital or anything. Just wanted to say thanks. I don't care about you. I, I did this for index. What? The, the focus wasn't saving her ass. It's kind of sad that she, she she has deep blood and the vampires all die and she just accidentally kills all of them. But like, we, we were doing this for Index, girl. <laughs> Who are you again? Can you give me 100 yen? Mm. Oh shit. The English Puritan Church? Narcissist? That's the clothing. Sphinx! Classic. Sphinx does not like Toma. Where is she gonna stay? Is she gonna stay at her place? Sphinx is a very bad cat. Very untrained, stray cat. There's a smile. And that's today's episode. I, uh, I'm surprised that the Deep Blood arc wrapped up this quick. Like... This shit was literally three episode arc. That was so fucking fast. I, I thought we'd keep going. Last episode was very confusing. Rightfully so, because, you know, this, this adaptation is really meant for light novel source readers to appreciate the anime, right? But I'm keeping up. I'm keeping up. The Roman Knights, it's because, you know, this guy is a defect of the Roman church. He used to be Index's partner three years ago, and he wanted to save Index. 
And it's sad that we already solved everything and he wasted his time. At least he has Ars Magna, but even that shit got wiped. He is now just a monkey in the wilderness. Memories wiped. He's just a homeless dude. That's kind of fucked up what Stady did to him, but I mean, what he was doing was messed up. He did have good intentions, but he just, you know, we already saved Index first. His powers were very cool. The reality bending shit, as long as you believe it, is a pretty balanced way to bring this, you know, reality bending ability. But now that, you know, the magic has been erased, the memories has been erased, it's just pretty much gone for good, I guess, unless another user is going to wield that power. Miko-sama, I guess, is going to join our harm. She might be just staying at her apartment. We saved Index again. Is there any other important plot points? Um, well, the vampires still exist. Deep Blood still exists. I'm not sure what Alistair really wanted out of this mission other than just kind of confirming the existence of Deep Blood. Are we going to then er eradicate all the vampires? It sounds like Miko-sama kind of wanted, you know, the, the vampires to just kind of live and exist, but I'm not sure. And also, another fun fact, this doctor only showed up to look at nurses' asses. And that's it for me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.